set up here. I deleted the app off this phone. Well, this is a different phone. I'm filming with one phone and using a different phone for the application. We're going to take these suckers out and check out a unit. Unit's making a noise. So I don't know if we really need these. We'll probably slap them on there just for the heck of it. Just to use them a little bit and see how they work. I haven't used them in a while. Take you guys along for the ride. Well, howdy, guys. I know you can't see me real well. I'm in here. See? Heading over to a house in Wilmington. This is a familiar house. I put this Goodman in several years ago. And they're complaining that it's making a noise when it's running. So I told them to put it in emergency heat. Because it's been pretty cold around here. So we're going to see what's going on. It could be because of this last snowstorm and ice storm that we've been having. Could have damaged the fan blade. Could be wires dangling down. Who knows? It is a Goodman unit. It's 18 sear. A lot of you saw that job on YouTube years ago. We're going to try to figure out what's going on. Check a few things on it to make sure it's okay overall. And hopefully we'll get her back into shape. Worst case scenario, maybe it's a blade or something like that. We are looking at a Goodman unit that has some issues here because the bracket is broken. The fan is tilted. You can see it rubbed right there and I don't know if it got a hole in there but it's awful close. I don't know if this is ice storm related or not but I'm going to take this apart, shut the power off to the unit and see what's going on a little bit closer. Not good. I have one of the Manti probes on there and as you can see there is no pressure in the system at all. The blade cut through one of the lines, unfortunately, and that is not good as it says five tons. Not good. Looks like we got a nick in there if I let all the gas out. Another area over here, right here, right here. Broken. Crack fan blade too, where it hit the coil. Cracked again right here. So fan blade and who knows the motor even working or not. It's hard to test it. Not good. Not good at all. I'm gonna take this fan out of here. Take these brackets out of here and all that good stuff. So we are pulling out of the house now. As you can see, there was a lot of damage done to that unit. A lot. The coil was pierced, there was no refrigerant, the bracket was broken for the condenser fan motor, the fan blade was broken, the motor made a little bit of a growl when I spun the shaft, and I'm leery to not switch the motor out. I don't know if they're going to do it under warranty or not, but I told her that and more than likely it was going to have a problem because it sat there and it was running, tilted, slamming against the side of the unit. So that's the sort of thing that can wear out your bearings or cause an issue. So, hopefully, they'll warranty all those parts. Sometimes when people are butts about stuff. So, I'm going to give them a call. Hopefully, there'll be another video on the repair. That's, I don't know, 278 ounces of refrigerant. It's over 15 pounds of refrigerant. So, it's a lot of gas, a lot of material, and a lot of work. So, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. We'll see what happens if we go repairing that one. I'm sure we will in some way, shape, or form. Have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.